All right, you guys, check this out. Thanks for checking out Rocky Mountain Backcountry. <laughs> We're parked in front of the house. We're getting things loaded up to go on the 2600 mile UTV overland trip. We're going from central Utah to Glacier National Park, 2600 miles round trip. And the triplets, well, we got trends and um, twins and a kind of maternal triplet. Anyway, I'm hoping to get this done in one take, but anyway, you guys, I'm gonna show you what's up with these trailers, so stick with me. This is one take. Check it out, flip the camera around. <clears throat> Sorry about the noise. Anyway, check this out, you guys. The thumbnail was these three rides parked right here, so let me know what you think of that. X3 Max is ready to go. Of course, we got my trailer right here. You can see some of the additions and all that stuff. Oh, hey, check out the reflection. What's up? Anyway, you guys, this is the introduction to the twins. I got mine sitting in between them, but here it goes. These things are freaking sweet. We got light switches for the inside, the outside, and the front. We did a little bit smaller cabinet in there. I'm going to go around and open up that other door. <clears throat> so you can get an idea. Maybe some more light will come in through there. Anyway, we did a little bit smaller cabinet there. So that we could mount a TV up here. And look at that. We got 110 power inside the unit. We have a 6 speed reversible fan. And that thing is quiet too. It's time to sell my trailer and build a V3. This is the version three, you guys. So you can see that we swept the roof line down, comparing that to the V2. So this roof line here with this extra seal created a little bit of a leak point. And so with the V3, that eliminates that one last, that one leak point right there. So, just a little bit to show you why I did that. Mine has just a couple of leaks in there. I've sealed it since, and we're good to go. But with mine, you can also see, thank you, openroadwinch.com. Those guys kicked in an awning for me to take on this trip, and I'm super happy to see that. Maybe I'll dump a couple pictures in there for you. So, the other thing that I want to show you guys on the back. Oh, look at that. We have 110 power on the outside. Nice. So, the back of these is basically identical to mine, except for, you can see we have some 110 power here. There's where the 110 comes in from inside the bulkhead. And we have all the same switches there telling us what's going on. And on the twins, we have, check that out, 200 watts of solar going on there on both of them. Look, there's that one. So 200 watts of solar and look at this. Boop, boop. Shore power, you guys. Inside this box is all the magic. Check it out. Life Po 4, 100 amp hour. Life Po 4, 100 amp hour. We have the MidTech power converter so that we can run shore power into the trailer, keep everything charged, and the 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. You guys, this has stupid power. Man, we could run the whole camp for a week on this. Anyway, you guys, there is the introduction to the twins. Uh, what else? On mine, you can see we welded on the fenders. On the twins, on the new version, the fenders are bolted on so they're serviceable if that becomes an issue. Um, we have, you can see we plugged all the holes in the ends of the steel. And we have two lights like this on the outside on both sides. Mine only has it on one side, but if you look right there, I hooked up a little shower light. 
So, you guys, if you're checking the Instagrams, I got the shower on the last video. You could also check that out. But I added, I added a spare light right there to light up the shower location. So, that'll be sick. And on this one, you can see up here, we put a light in the front. The idea was for that light to shine down in the box and on the front of the trailer works great however the box doesn't quite open up you can see that right there we kind of have it casts a little bit of a shadow in the box but it is a beautiful idea very well executed and i'm super happy with it so the twins their chassis are fully powder coated we fully powder coated all of the suspension the coil springs everything this one the twins have the uh, steel, what is it, the tongue bar. It goes all the way to the back to a receiver. And it's probably a little bit overdone. But it's there. There is also up underneath here, it's wired with a, a flat four plug. Um, just in case. Who knows what. Just in case. Anyway, you guys... That is a one take on the setup that is going with us on the tour. The tour is the tour, the overland trip. Anyway, yeah, we're, uh, we're ready to go. So I'm going to be doing the full trip. These two other trailers, the twins, they're going to be joining us about halfway through. So like if you do, you guys, subscribe if you haven't. You don't want to miss everything that's going on with this uh, 2,600 mile. You don't want to miss everything that's going on with this 2,600 mile UTV Overland trip. I am super excited. I can't wait to try these things out, see how everything goes. Well, I've tried mine out. I know how it's going to go. But I can't wait to do it on whew, a ridiculous long trip. So, anyway, you guys... Thanks for checking out Rocky Mountain Backcountry. Like if you do, subscribe if you haven't, and let's ride.